Hi, this is Sarah Levis at Girl with the Cane, and this is the video post for Differently Abled. I've never been crazy about the phrase differently abled. I remember first hearing it when I went away to university in a school sponsored disability awareness program, and it always struck me as trying too hard. I think that I don't really like it now because it emphasizes the differences between people with disabilities and non-disabled people more than the similarities. Differently abled and it's all relative. I'm not the only one who feels this way, I've noticed. I recently read an article by a man who said that he wished that we'd do away with the practice of having non-disabled people spend a day in a wheelchair or otherwise spend time experiencing what a person with a disability does, like going blindfolded for a period of time. He said it just em emphasizes what people with disabilities can't do rather than what they can do. Being differently abled still means different. But I wrote the phrase, it's all relative, while replying to a comment yesterday after having it in my head for the last couple of days. And yesterday I began to think about what it really meant. For instance, I've been lamenting the fact that one of my cats is getting a bit hefty, especially if I compare her to a hamster. But if I compare her to a cow, she's very light. And while I may put my bra on strangely compared to women with two hands, my friend on Facebook who broke her hand and had no idea how she was going to get dressed for work told me I was a lifesaver when I told her how I did it. Not so different from you. That wasn't so long ago maybe two years, but it was the closest I've come to seeing differently abled as something accurate and halfway positive. I have a different skill set than people who use two hands to do daily activities, yes. But I still do the same activities as able-bodied people. I buy groceries and make food and make my bed and clean my apartment and do my laundry I've gone hiking through the forest and downhill skiing using something they call a sit ski and dancing and traveling on my own. I think that people with disabilities can choose to look at their differences from others as absolute or relative and that the people who look at it as relative tend to have a more positive view of living life with disabilities. I may be differently abled but I'm not so different from the rest of you. Really. And that's it for today. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.